the best bushcraft saw, Silky Genki. Hi, I'm Nita. And I'm Sinead. And this week we're talking about a family of saws with the big brother with having a half a meter long blade. And no, it's not the Katana Boy. talking about a particular family called the Genki and it is available in five different blade lengths. So this particular saw is a large tooth hand saw so great for being an alternative to a small chainsaw. Mm. One of the main reasons they made the Genki range though was we had a lot of customers asking for saws without a sheath and you might go what that's crazy why would you do such a thing but with with everything in life unfortunately there is a cost involved so when you purchase a silky you're paying for a beautiful top quality product that has a lot of research and development in it but the materials they use themselves are good quality high spec materials and there is a cost involved in producing those which obviously get passed on to you as the end buyer so we had a lot of customers saying look we don't use the scabbard and depending on the saw, it can range at anything from $15 to $50 to the price of the saw, depending on how much detail goes into that scabbard. So they made a range of saws that they named the Genkis as a range of saws that didn't have a scabbard so that you could make one if that's what you wanted to do, or you could just store it somewhere without a case, but you weren't having to pay that extra money for a case. So that was sort of a number one feature when they made the Genki. Yeah. But then when they started making the saw, they realized what a great saw it was and how fantastic the, the tooth sort of style was that they did. And they thought, hang on a minute, we can make this bigger and better. <laughs> and that's what they did. And they sure did. They We have a half a meter long blade mm. Genki. So I'll take it out of it. And unlike what I was scabbard. just saying, they decided with a saw this big, this long, it deserved a case. <laughs> so it, this one. It deserved not only a case but the case for the teeth <laughs> and a case for <laughs> so yeah this Blank. one comes with a scabbard and this is a, a really good scabbard it's got a stiffening to it and it's it's well made so that's not going to fall out of that case it's got an attachment at the end here and it also belt throws on at the top here so it's a great case yeah. that goes with this amazing saw keeps teeth nice and protected yeah. what you are looking at now is the big giant teeth yeah. at the top here yeah. you're also wondering why is the teeth so small at the end i was saying to today earlier this is like you know a family that has like one sister who's the tall skinny one and then the other sister who's like the short dumpy one this is kind of like the short dumpy one and the katana is the tall skinny one yes it is <laughs> so they're both half a meter long but this one is just chunky, chunky. <laughs> see we beastie great minds think alike yes <laughs> um, but the reason for the graduating teeth is that japanese saws uh, and especially silky, mm. they only cut on the pull stroke. So the idea of having graduating teeth is if you start the cut at the handle and draw that saw towards you, mm. you have little teeth starting that cut, which will make it a lot more easier and smoother to use this particular saw. So, but once you start getting through that cut, that's when the larger teeth kick in and it's just one hell of a saw. <laughs> mm, that's right. It's a, yeah, it's an absolute I, I was trying thing. to read the packaging as Sinead was saying that, so I'm going blind as I get older. They, because they're quite small at this end and then they go huge at that oh, end. And yes. I couldn't remember off the top of my head what the size difference was. But Sinead's going to read that because the writing's <laughs> really little and I can't read it. <laughs> so the teeth start off um, the three, three teeth per three centimeters. So um, right at the base there, that's three teeth per three centimeters. No, sorry, that's five teeth per three centimeters. And then it jumps off oh, yeah, the three true. teeth. Yeah, that's true. I'm thinking that doesn't make sense. Yeah. <laughs> so five teeth per three centimeters up to three teeth per three centimeters. Mm. But the so it's nearly double. So yeah. it nearly goes double the size from the starting tooth to the finishing tooth. So that's a huge chunk of wood that you're digging out of that branch or that log that you're cutting. Yeah, mm. exactly. Um, another unique thing about the whole Gen mm. Genki range is that they're a handsaw. Yeah. So being a fixed handsaw, it means that the blade continues going straight through to the handle, opposed to the Katana Boy, which is a folding saw. So that yes. will just, it's tied on with the screw Screws. at the top. Yeah. So that's And the, this is a screwless handle as well. So if you do need to replace the blade eventually with any of the Genki sizes, 
it's like our previous videos we've shown um, where you just peel the blade the handle open to reveal the blade and then pop the new one in and then peel it back on again so quite cool there's no screws to lose in this situation yeah and yeah. you can quite possibly use it with two hands oh most well. definitely very with comfortable story. with two hands and how mm. the handle is shaped as well it's quite uncomfortable and easy to use and the bonus it's not that heavy either mm. as you can see here i'm using it one hand <laughs> yeah and it's quite cool the shape because it's not a curved blade, but it gives you sort of the sensation of a curve because of the angle they've put the handle on and it sort of arcs across here. So it really is very comfortable when using it on an angle, which is like if you've got a fallen tree across a track and you're sort of standing above it with one foot on it, it's a very comfortable angle to actually be cutting on. So you're really unique and really neat. Yeah, mm. um, like I was saying earlier, they Japanese saw, so they only cut in the pull stroke and they're available in five different blade lengths as well. So I'll get you. And have similar specs to other silkies. So you can see there the lines that are dug in the uh, steel. That's the hollow grinding. So the blade tapers down to the teeth. So that's the widest part of the saw is the teeth. Then the narrowest part is the center of the blade here. So that really reduces any friction when cutting. There's no rubbing of the side of the blade against uh, the wood that you're cutting, which makes it feel so easy. And then these teeth are a non-set tooth. So again, less resistance when you're cutting. So a really nice, easy saw to use. Yeah, it is. Um, another key thing about the saw as well, it's blade spec sharpenable. So it doesn't yes. have the impulse hardened teeth up mm. to the end. That's right. So if you're out, like out back, and you're cutting something that's really dirty and you've done this for a few days in a row and the edge is taken off, you can give it a quick, you know, sharpen up on the tips. Mm. Mm. And this saw will also easily cut anything up to 30, 30 centimeters mm. in diameter. You're really well. only limited with the length of the blade. Yeah. Because the teeth are so big. They are. So yeah. they'll be, um, so yeah, so it's kind of like an alternative to a small chain. Absolutely. No petrol, no fumes, and it's really light and yeah. can slide somewhere on the ground in your car. Yes. <laughs> it doesn't take up much space. With the case on. <laughs> and it's pretty cool. <laughs> it is. It's uh, one of those must-have saws. Yes. But it has little brothers. It's so, with the Genki, the yes. littlest of them all is 30 centimeters long in yes. length. Um, and then there's a 33, 36 centimeter, and a 39 centimeter, and then you jump up to the 50 centimeter, 500. the 500. Yeah. But yes, um, the difference between the 500 and these other particular saws is that they don't have a non-set tooth. They have what is called a retsumi tooth. Four. Yeah. So it means four rows of teeth. So they mean yes. they slightly stick out of... Kick um, them out in four different directions. Yeah, but still sharpenable. Yes, yes. So it's both sharpenable. All the saws in the Genki range are sharpenable. But different tooth style on the smaller ones to the big half meter. Yeah, so all the, the other range they have a tooth size starting from 6.5 teeth mm -hmm. per 3 centimeters and slowly graduate to 5 teeth per 3 centimeters. Mm -hmm. So not as big as two. Yeah, the graduating really makes it easier to start your cut and get into the wood. Yeah. So it's a big advantage having those graduating teeth. Yeah, and yeah. so it has the same kick out blade yeah. to it so very very similar similarities between the two yeah. you think for being a family <laughs> yeah that's right so same style of design shape wise same great gom rubber the same ability to be able to sharpen all of the gang keys the difference is the style of tooth now one of the reasons why is your four me tooth is much faster cutting tooth yeah. but it's a more aggressive tooth so having a four me tooth on a half a meter long saw like this with only three teeth per three centimeters that's what it was wasn't it the biggest yeah. one that, that would just be near impossible to pull through a piece of wood. So that's why they've done a non-set tooth on this huge half a metre long one, but the four reps me teeth on these smaller ones so that you can do some really fast cutting. So these would be great to have around the house to, to clear, clear perhaps a tree you want to get rid of, yeah. collect some firewood, um, and even take camping with you if you want a really comfortable, because the fixed saws are so comfortable. Oh, and also are. have so much strength as well. A fixed saw is far stronger than a folding saw. So if you don't want to sort of spend the extra money on one of the bigger saws that have the case, the Genki is a great alternative because you do save a lot of money not having to yeah. buy the scabbard, um, and you get that beautiful, fast cutting saw that you can also sharpen because it's very uncommon to have a, a silky saw that's only 30 centimeters long that you can sharpen so it's, it's quite yes. a cool cool saw it is it is
mentioning before is the full mm. tang blade. So I'm going to show you, it's much more easier to show you on a smaller blade than a yeah. larger blade. <laughs> so we're going to be clumsy, we don't want to cut ourselves on that one. Yes. <laughs> so at the end of each saw it has like a little grip so you can put your finger in and you can pull that handle back off. Mm. So that will give, I'll show you what a full tang blade looks like. So I'll just turn it around so you can see and fly the packaging off. <laughs> um, but you can see, yeah, go straight into the handle. Um, and All those little hooky things hook on to the top of the handle so it stops it from it, falling off. Yeah, and then the same inside, they have little hooky things just to make it so you sort of start to close to the, the teeth side of the blade, hook it on. Yeah, hook and it on. And then press along until you get to the back. You gotta hook it on or it doesn't stay. Yeah, hook it on. <laughs> and then like a jigsaw puzzle. Squeeze it all together. And that won't slip off either. Mm. Either It's a it's, it's nice, sturdy, strong um, mm. handle to have on the Genki. So a beautiful, unique saw that um, you will absolutely love to have in your kit or to have at home, as we mentioned, for tidying up around the yard. Mm. Well, we hope you enjoyed this video and it explained the Genki range to mm. you. Um, if you have any questions, you can just leave us a comment yeah. um, or you can write us an email. Yes. But yeah, if you enjoyed it, please subscribe, yeah. um, like this video, tell all your friends. <laughs> we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.